I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the donors of the Alzheimer's Society, who enable the support of research into the origins and treatment of dementia. As the number of those diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and related dementias increases, it is also increasingly important to characterize how the disease progresses and how we may be able to identify those likely to develop it. One of the defining features of dementia is the loss of memory for events in people's lives. These events are set in a particular space and time. And while spatial disorientation is a well-known symptom of Alzheimer's disease, there is little evidence for how memory for time is affected in dementia. With the funding I received from the Alzheimer's Society, I aim to elucidate the links between navigating space and experiencing time, and how these are affected in people at risk for Alzheimer's disease. This research aims to provide evidence of a sensitive indicator before the diagnosis of dementia even occurs. Using functional magnetic resonance imaging, I aim to investigate how memories about the duration of individual events and the order in which they occurred are created in healthy brains, particularly in the context of navigation, and crucially how this ability changes in those at risk for dementia. This is based on the prediction that the ability to encode and recall information about time is one of the first functions to break down in Alzheimer's disease, affecting other aspects of memory as a result. Investigating the first aspects affected in the lives of those who develop dementia or who are likely to develop it is the first step to understanding the progression of the disease. This research will lay the groundwork for more sensitive and earlier diagnosis, as well as improvement in therapeutic approaches for one of the disease's most salient deficits, disorientation in time and space. An Alzheimer's Society doctoral award is an investment in a lifelong memory scientist with the aim of investigating the neural and behavioral basis of dementia, and I am sincerely grateful to be given this opportunity. Funding research in Alzheimer's disease and related dementias is especially important as the numbers of those affected by these disorders continue to increase. These disorders impact the lives of not only patients, but also their loved ones, and by funding research aiming to discover targets for treatment and therapy, these targets will be discovered and implemented more quickly and successfully.